When they changed the rule about no collisions, I actually was on a conference call with, I think it was probably like 15 to 16 other big league catchers. And I was one of only a few guys who didn't want them to change the rule. And I always felt like I don't play that much, but to me, that is a run. Like no matter how you look at it, a run, like you can say, well, it's technically only worth 0.22 in the analytic department of metrics, but it's a run. If I keep a run off the board, they're probably going to pinch hit for me in the seventh inning and I don't get a chance to put a run on the board. Where the other guys on that conference call, you know, your superstar catchers at the time, and that was right around when Buster broke his ankle. And so I, I know why they, they, they made the rule. You know, that guy's going to get 550 opportunities to 600 opportunities to put a run on the board. And I'm not going to get that. So I always felt like it was my duty to stay in there. And, and I just kind of liked – Given a hit too, but the Chipper Jones one, I, yeah, I don't know. I, he, I had hair before that one. And then it not, he hit me so hard in the, I have a picture of it in my, in my house, in my dig. Oh, my dig me room's not, it's not done yet. That's my retirement, my quitting nice. gift to myself. I got a, but well, I got a picture that's signed by Chipper. It says you were blocking the moon, bruh. So I was like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the bruh <laughs> meant, but the helmet's off and like, I think part of my hair like fell off. He hit me so hard. Like I had no idea he was going to hit me and I never got tested for concussions. But I remember the only thing I could see, everything was like in a tunnel. And the only thing I could see was I was running over to, I remember, I remember doc. I remember Roy holiday dropping a couple F bombs at chipper because I held on to it. And then I remember running over to the, to the dugout and Charlie man Charlie Manuel was the manager and he was he stuck his hand out to give me a high five and all I could see was Charlie all I could see was Chuck and everything else was just like Woo! and it was just like a tunnel vision and he stuck his like like arthritis hand out like this <laughs> to give me a high five which you never knew how to like give him a high five you like I jam your finger and he stuck it out to give me a high five and I gave him a high five and as soon as I did it was like everything opened back up and I'm like, I guess I'm good to go. Damn. Back out the next inning. Wow. Oh yeah. That was the apex of my career. I hit a home run later in the, later in the game off of Kimbrel to tie it. Mm. That was it. Did Boom. it become a superstition then? You're like, I need a collision. Yeah. Get me in that no. home run mindset. <laughs> no, no, that was, that was, and I was struggling going into that one. So I was like a couple of games before I hadn't had a hit and, he he hammered me like that, and I'm like, well, hey, maybe knock some knock some things loose. Maybe this is my Roy Oswalt spark plug story. It wasn't. No, it was pretty much all the same. 